So Tuesday, November 8th is Mars's day, the planet of action, drive and initiative gets rules the day. So it's a great get shit done day. You'll have your Taurus moon, which is good for creating solid results, financial matters, nesting, resting, enjoying your body, listening to music, and uh, singing, dancing, and dining. Tauruses are foodies. They love food and they love a good dining experience. And yes, we will have our Taurus full moon lunar eclipse on Tuesday. You probably have already started feeling the effects of it. The North Node is transiting in Taurus. So even though we have the moon conjuncting Uranus, we're going to talk all about it. But, um, you know, we, we've been heading toward this. The North Node is in Taurus. Our collective destiny is in Taurus. So this lunar eclipse in Taurus is, you know, it, it's going to just push us a little bit more, a little bit harder to get to where we want to go. Oh, you'll be dancing on Tuesday? That's a great way to celebrate the lunar eclipse. I hope you have a lot of fun dancing. So determine where 16 degrees of Taurus falls in your astrology chart. What house is that in? Because that's where you're going to be called to level up. <laughs> so keep that in mind. And um, yeah, this uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus is quite interesting. So you get the moon over here, right? And um, it's at a near exact conjunction with Uranus, the blue. And Uranus is retrograde. So a lot of the changes are happening internally. But with the moon conjuncting Uranus, that's, that's a matter of an emotional change or an emotional um, revolution. Um, sometimes an emotional shock or sometimes changes, right? And the North Node, as I said before, it's in Taurus as well. So we're, we're realizing our, our values and we're seeing how our values may have changed over the years or at least over the past year. And we're moving toward those energies that are grounded, safe, secure. Taurus wants two things, just two things. They want stability and they want sensuality, right? So lean into that and you should be all set. So the moon, of course, is opposite the sun. That's what happens under a full moon. But the moon and Uranus are also opposite Mercury as well as Venus, right? So you got Mercury, the sun, and Venus in Scorpio, as well as the self node, what we're moving away from. And it's um, being opposed by Uranus, the moon, and, of course, the uh, north node. So there's this real strong push and pull energy and it's in a T-square with Saturn. Saturn's watching everything going on, making sure everybody's following the rules. Saturn in Aquarius wants us all to be more humanitarian. We have a responsibility to our fellow uh, man and woman, women in the world. So keep that in mind. Saturn's definitely uh, holding court here, making sure everybody's minding their P's and Q's. Uh, so yeah, we got that T-square. So when we have a T-square, there's a lot of fixity going on here. We're very, we're, we're very much in a lot of energy that doesn't want to change. But with the squares, there needs to be a change. So go with the flow. Do what you can to feel good. Lean into love. And uh, vote if you're inclined. Because yes, it is, um, it is election day as well. That's going to be very interesting. So with all this stuff going on in election day... Expect there to be a lot of drama. Expect there to be a lot of chaos. Expect there to be recounts and people upset and blah, blah, blah. But what else is new? Oh, you're going to level up the state of your carpets. I love that. Oh, okay. Well, that's a very tourist thing to do. Taurus loves their home. Um, so, yeah. How will that impact Aquarius? Well, it depends, right? If you have Aquarius at 16 degrees or around 16 degrees, so if you have Aquarius in your chart, say, uh, from 12 degrees of Aquarius to 20 degrees of Aquarius, uh, you will, um, you'll be affected. It will be affecting you. Uh, it depends on what house it's in. So check to see um, if you have anything from 12 to 20 degrees of Aquarius and what house it falls in your astrological chart. And also see if you have any planets, especially um planets and fixed signs at 16 degrees of Aquarius or from actually 12 to 20 degrees of Aquarius. Hey, Floyd's wife. Nice to see you. Lots of lunatics on the blood moon. There have been a lot of lunatics 
lately. Yes. I mean, this whole past week, I've noticed the crazies are out. Uh, so definitely give yourself extra time to get someplace. And uh, yeah, try to relax. Business as usual. And uh, to get more information about this Taurus full moon lunar eclipse, check out your horoscope. Uh, that is in the description below. You can click on that and find out what's going on. Again, just mind uh, that 16 degrees. Definitely, these are general horoscopes, um, but it could give you an idea. So check your sign and your rising sign in that link below. Also, on Tuesday. Now, because this aspect is on Tuesday, its effects are long-lasting because we have the lunar eclipse on Tuesday. So the sun will conjunct Mercury. And uh, Emmanuel Kant had this aspect in his chart. To be is to do, is what he said, which I think makes a lot of sense. It puts the focus on quicksilver thinking, the sun's conjunct to Mercury. So we'll likely be very alert and adaptable, not just on Tuesday, but really um, over the next six months. And knowledge, Kant said, begins with experience. Uh, expect a lot of experience on Tuesday and over the next six months with lots of appointments, meetings, correspondences, social activities, etc. And dare to know, determining the truth becomes important. We want answers and are compelled to find them, especially because Mercury is conjunct the sun in Scorpio. So keep that in mind. And a Kant said at one point, it is not God's will merely that we should be happy, but that we should make ourselves happy. Really interesting, right? Makes a lot of sense that we should make ourselves happy according to Kant. So keep that in mind over the next six months. In order to be happy, you have to live a value-oriented lifestyle. So you got to check in and say, okay, this is really what's most important to me. I think it's a good idea to um, determine your top five, four or five values and make sure that your life is running according to those values. Like if not feeling good is a value, do you, um, you know, invest in your food? Do you invest in your body and your exercise? Stuff like that. So make sure your life is living in accordance with your values. Happiness is a state of mind, not a destination. I agree, Magpie. I think Winston Churchill said, "We're everybody is about as happy as they make themselves, uh, they, make, they make their minds to be. So definitely nice. Um, also on Tuesday, and again, this aspect is gonna have a long, long lasting effect because it's on the lunar eclipse. Mercury will oppose Uranus and Nietzsche had this aspect in his chart. I have to look at his chart, actually. He has all this stuff about danger. He's um, sort of in, really inclined to danger. He's all about living dangerously. It's very Scorpionic, so I'm pretty sure he has some strong Scorpio in his chart. Um, resistance is overcome with Mercury's opposition to Uranus, so we can expect discoveries, flashes of insight, or meeting someone new and exciting or you can meet some new and exciting people. Also, knowledge begins with experience. Both Kant and Nietzsche agreed on that. It's best to think before we speak and um, to use both ears to listen. Be sure to use both ears to listen with Mercury's opposition to Uranus. And in the guise of simplicity, Nietzsche said, uh, that's where we find real truth. And uh, it's a good idea to keep things light, less, op less serious topics with Mercury's opposition to Uranus. Keep it light and go with the flow. Keep that in mind. And uh, Nietzsche once said, life is continually shedding something that wants to die. Isn't that true? Especially during Scorpio season, since we're moving away from that Scorpionic uh, self node, but also utilizing it to fuel us. It's a matter of asking ourselves, okay, what what needs to be shed? What wants to die in my life, right? So keep that in mind. Ooh, listen with your eyes. Yes, and I love this. Very true. The body doesn't lie. The body doesn't lie. And also listen to your body. Listen to what your body is telling you, especially with the moon in Taurus with this Taurus lunar eclipse, definitely get more in touch with your body.